Most of us have heard of Malcolm X. Well, Augusta had Silas X, Silas Xavier Floyd. He was a preacher, he was an educator, he was a newspaper columnist for the Augusta Chronicle, and above all, he was a man of service. Silas X. Floyd spent most of his youth impressing people. He not only delivered the Chronicle as a newsboy, he was in the news as an active member of the YMCA, including his work holding religious services for inmates at the jail. He was so good at everything, he spoke at his Ware High School graduation the year before he graduated. The following year, he came back to give the valedictory speech and receive a prize from school superintendent Lawton B. Evans. Then he got his diploma from school board president John S. Davidson, completing an Augusta Educational Triumvirate. He graduated from Atlanta University and then returned to Augusta to work and serve, mostly serve. His work with the then segregated YMCA was so successful and impressive that in 1909, President-elect William Howard Taft came to speak to the group and encourage its efforts. Floyd's writings were nationally known. Yes, he wrote a column on the black community for the Augusta Chronicle, but he also edited a black newspaper, the Augusta Sentinel. He wrote published poetry. He wrote books on sermons and on his friend, the Reverend C.T. Walker. He even wrote a children's book that presented instructional tales for youngsters. The American Academy of Political and Social Sciences, whose members included Ivy League presidents and professors, elected Silas Floyd as a member in 1902, one of the few blacks so honored. And back home, the Chronicle bragged on him with, quote, pardonable pride. Silas X. Floyd could perhaps be forgiven for boasting a little bit, but he never did. He is one of our community's best examples of the servant leader. He helped raise money for all worthy causes, from the Red Cross to the Butt Bridge Memorial. When floods overwhelmed Augusta in 1908 and 1912, Floyd directed his community's relief. After the 1916 fire, Floyd did the same. During World War I, he chaired the Richmond County Food Administrative Drive. During the Spanish flu epidemic of 1918, the community called on teachers to answer the nursing shortage, and Silas Floyd was there, day and night. But Silas X. Floyd helped our community most with his work in race relations. With his good friend, the Reverend C.T. Walker, they were the go-betweens between the white and black communities. He pointed out the unfairness of opportunities and public resources, but like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. 50 years later, he had a faith in the future. God is not dead, he wrote. His chariots are not unwield, and in swift ways they always fly to the rescue of those who are patient in well-doing. Silas X. Floyd died in his 50s in 1923 from a heart attack. They said it was because he just kept going night and day. Well, we should keep going too. As Lawton Evans said at his funeral, his life should serve as a monument to service.